Hey everybody, Ricky Adam handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, November the 18th, and this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race six tonight, folks. 8:04 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a six furlong sprint on the dirt track. Phillies and mares, three years old and up, race for a claiming prize of some thirteen thousand dollars. Contenders number two, Sober Living. Number six, one to watch. Number five, imagine now. And number eight, trick the posse. Number two, Sober Living takes a class drop of five units this evening. Has hit the board in power run fashion in four of her last five starts overall. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer tandem of William Otero and Jamie Ness in her corner. They've hit the board with an impressive 80% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number six, one to watch, a 10 to 1 bomb. It's turned in power run performances in five straight starts. Also takes a class drop, eight track master units tonight. Race six, summary number two, Sober Living. Tops the contenders list, which also includes number six, one to watch, number five, Imagine Now, and number eight, Trick the Posse, two, six, five, eight, in the sixth from Penn National. I have a couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder this evening as well. Let's go to Finger Lakes, upstate New York, race six, number one, Loopy de Loop. Six to one in the morning line drops in class by seven track master units. Nice overall speed for this mile 70 yard test on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia, race seven, number seven. Nava, eight to one in the morning line. The overall speed leader in this allowance field sprinting at or about tonight's distance of five and one half furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Friday night, Rick did him for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.